I know this is going to be hard to believe, and trust me, as a traveler, I too am skeptical. But according to the U.S. Department of Transportation, only 30 domestic flights in 2014 were stuck on airport tarmacs for more than three hours. And guess what? That's a record low, and a sign that hefty fines may indeed be reducing delays. Back in 2010, passenger complaints prompted the federal government to adopt fines for every domestic flight delayed longer than three hours and for each international flight stalled for at least four hours. Violators can be fined as much as $27,500 per passenger. In the first full year before the federal government adopted the fines, U.S. airlines reported 868 domestic flights that were delayed longer than three hours. Those delays dropped after the fines started. In 2013, airlines reported 84 domestic flights that were delayed longer than three hours and 55 international flights delayed longer than four hours. Under the federal rule, airlines that strand passengers on domestic flights for three hours or longer must give flyers the option of getting off the plane. The rule offers airlines exceptions for reasons related to safety, security, and air traffic control. Last month, Southwest Airlines agreed to pay $1.6 million, the largest fine to date, over storm-related delays of 16 Southwest flights on January 1st and 2nd, 2014, at Chicago Midway International Airport. So, what do you think of this improvement? Have you experienced less tarmac time? Or is it just that the fine is putting fear in the airliners to correct itself? Share your thoughts by commenting on the video below. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to the ModernWallStreet.com YouTube page by clicking right here. And feel free to follow us on these various social platforms by clicking on the icons.